Alright. What are you doing? I'm buying salami and wine. Sorry I didn't buy your bread, but I didn't really want bread right now. Alright. I'm gonna have a sit down. And, uh... I think I want to chew on some salami while I talk to you, bud. So, give me a second here. Give me some salami. Where's my salami? I have me a salami. I'm just gonna eat that. Yeah, yummy salami. Alright, wine. Yeah, it doesn't say anything here. Let's talk to this guy. I'm sorry, I can't tell you everything. But maybe we can work something out. Sure. But first, I'd like to hear something about you, my son. With whom do I have the honor? Where are you from? Ooh. I'm from Scarlet. I thank you, dear. Oh. I'm sorry. What about your kin? They're dead. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Got a timer on this conversation. Here. We'll drink to them. We will. It must have been terrible. It was terrible. It seemed so pointless. We had no warning. They just appeared and began the slaughter. God knows why. They killed anyone who didn't make yeah. it to the shelter of the castle. My parents, my girl. Even the Deutsch who was on Sigismund's side. I didn't make it to there. the castle. Satisfied? I wanted to try and help my parents, but there was nothing I could do. I'll bring it right away. Then I fled to Talmberg with the Cumans on my heels. Satisfied? They almost killed me. They slaughtered people in the surrounding villages. There was a pile of bodies in front of a church in Rovno. Right Folk who tried to take refuge there, but they... they... My poor child. May God Here's grant them eternal rest. Harvest. And how did you come to get this assignment? I'd have expected Sir Hanish to send that old grouch, Bernard. Uh... He did, but I found a witness and the trail led here to Ujit, so he sent me here to follow it up. Ah, well congratulations. It's nice to see someone using their head to find things out instead of torture. We'll have to drink to that. Now the most important thing. What actually happened at Noyo? The good folks here about are saying all kinds of terrible things, but I take most of it with a pinch of salt. Ah, uh, he might be the ringleader, man. The rumors aren't exaggerated this time, unfortunately. The Neuhof stud farm was raided by bandits, but they didn't come to pillage or even take the horses. They only wanted to kill. They maimed the horses and slaughtered some people. I'm sure they would have killed more, but the bandits quarreled among themselves and broke off the attack. Judging by what's left of our Lubosch, they're still settling accounts. I see it's every bit as bad as people claimed. Dreadful. Well then, here's to those poor souls who had to die so pointlessly and so terribly. I've told you all about me. Now it's your turn, Father. You don't look much like our parish priest at home. Pour me one. I noticed you're pretty handy with a sword. I wouldn't expect that of a man of the cloth. You know what they say. The Lord moves in mysterious like ways. But this is a bit more mysterious than others. Let's yeah. just say I haven't always been a priest. Fate led me to places where affairs were settled by force. These days, of course, it's just a bit of exercise to keep me in shape. Well, we've had an agreeable chat, but now let's get down to business. So, about this confessional seal. Do you really want more innocent people to die? Get him, Henry. That's not how it right works. Away. There are matters in which you can't make exceptions because if you do it Here, once, it. you'll forever be tempted I to do it again. Hands. If people stop believing in the church because their confessional secrets are betrayed, they won't trust anyone, and that's worse than even the most hideous crime. Oh, man. I can tell him I've reached a dead end. Or I can say you're making excuses. If I say you're making excuses, it's probably going to tick him off. Shoot. I understand, but that means I've reached a dead end. Those cutthroats will strike again and I can't stop them. Chin up, lad. I might have a solution. Alright, good. 
If I tell you what Lubos told me, I'd be betraying the confessional secret. But first thing tomorrow, I'll try something I think might help you. Word of honor? On my soul. I always wondered about the things a priest tells his congregation. Where is do you get the ideas for your sermons? Well, Ujit is in Prague. It's not enough to instruct people. They have to be entertained, too. If I only read from the Bible, I'd soon be preaching to an empty church. Here we are. Our priest wasn't exactly a bard. So what do you preach to your flock about? It has to be something topical. Condemning vices. And, of course, describing them in detail. A tongue lashing about the two popes goes down well these days. And stories from real life, with a nice moral to them, are popular as well. Especially if they're about fornication and similar scandalous vices. <laughs> right. <laughs> Can you give me an example? Well, recently a priest by the name of Jan Hus started preaching in Prague, in the Czech language, and the people liked it. I hear he always has a full house. A journeyman who heard him told me what Hus is preaching, and I like the sound of it. I'm thinking about putting it in my own repertoire. What's so amazing about it? The preaching of Master Jan Hus about Mother Church. The lamentable wealth in which the church is drowning has turned to poison. And nearly the whole of Christendom is contaminated. Just like a My flock pleasure. of hungry ravens, they settled on this land to devour every grain of gold right and away. silver. They know no mercy. Their hearts are corrupted by longing for wealth. And they shamelessly profit from everything. You want to baptize a child? Pay. You want to steal and murder? Pay and you will have absolution. What if the devil himself were to pay? Would he ascend to heaven too? With such money gained from the poor, they buy beautiful horses to ride and needless servants to pamper them. They gamble at dice and dress their whores in expensive furs. While Jesus Christ walked barefoot and had no place to lay his head. Look to your consciences, you robbers of the poor, for you are seen by God and his people too. Amen. Well, this Jan Hu's character is quite a rebel. Oh, the congregation will love it. Don't eat it I up. don't doubt it. Let's drink to that. Say, <laughs> that last bit reminds me of someone. What do you mean? My situation is completely different. Hooth preaches against the prelates and the clerics who are robbing the poor. Look at me. I don't have a pot to piss in. I'm no better off than the folk I preach to. I'm one with them in poverty and suffering and everything that troubles them. I drink with them and curse those stuffed habits in Sassau Monastery. Wow. Uh... That's kind of interesting conversation we've got going on here. Don't you think it's a bit odd when someone boozes and lives in sin with a woman and then criticizes the Pope for, for, for debauchery? Yeah. No, I don't. <laughs> That's called hypocrisy. What do you think of this Jan Hus? He's certainly a wise man. A little overzealous for my taste. If he got out of Prague and came here for a look, I'm sure he'd stop condemning drinking and lying with women. Where can I find out more about his teachings? You like it? I copied down some of his sermons. If you're interested, you can read them at my presbytery. Yeah, I kind of stole them, actually. <laughs> I already took them. Uh, thanks. Thanks, by the way. What do the common folk think of it? They like it. They're happy to hear someone say what they think themselves but are afraid to say aloud things that make them angry and they're calling for change got it In a few years it'll have grown beyond control you mark my words the people will rise up and the church will be shaken to its very foundation oh uh, no the call the spanish yeah, inquisition at the stake first right nonsense they can't burn a master of the most respected university in europe ah uh. Thanks for the sermon, but I think I've been morally uplifted enough. Oh, it's getting quite late. What are your plans, Father? That is for you right here. What do you suppose? We have a drink, of course. Wow, I'm already kind of slurring my words. Yeah. All right, cheers. 
Let's have a drink. There. Ah, that sounds like a good plan. I knew you wouldn't let me down. I've reached a new level of drinking. <laughs> Great. I'm gonna wipe it. <laughs> I wake up on the floor. Uh, this is going somewhere bad. Why do I feel like somebody's gonna bust in the door with a sword? Enough of this! Bailiff! Come on over here, sit down and have a drink with us. Don't vex me again, Father. It's three hours past dusk, and curfew is long gone. So what? So, I'll have you all whipped, and put in the stocks, and I'll write a letter to the bishop about you, priest. <laughs> well, nothing to worry about then. Everyone knows the only one around here who can write is me. <laughs> Enough! Men! Throw them out. Hey, I got a broom here. Don't throw me out. You looking for a fight? Henry, back me up. Oh, man. Are you serious? I got to fight the bailiff? I'm drunk. Oh. <sighs> I can't even see! Fuck! Is that all you got? I don't even know who I'm fighting! It's dark out! Oh, I got a little bloodied on that one. I'm getting up at dawn. Ah, uh, come on. I'm gonna punch this- <laughs> punch this lady. Come on, father. I hope you're doing better than I am. And get my butt kicked out here. Uh, <laughs> oh my god, I got three people on me. <laughs> so, my dear, wouldn't you like to have a little ring on the bell? No sooner said than done. Uh, <laughs> I got messed up I'd with the priest. To. Let's get and inside. Henry too, I'm sure. Right, Henry. Stop that nonsense, Godwin. Are you out of your mind? What will people say? Here we are. Look at this beauty. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> we can't do this, can we? Who says? Get ringing, wench. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna ring the bell at three in the morning. <laughs> this is wonderful. Oh man. Oh, good job, priest. Ah, bloody oaf. <sighs> and now, my dears, comes the climax of the evening. Uh-oh. <laughs> We're not getting naked, are we? <laughs> oh, God, we are getting naked. <laughs> Hold on! <laughs> okay, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. <laughs> it's not that bad. Oh! I thought for sure. Uh, wait, wait, it is that bad. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Uh, 
<laughs> well, uh, an evening out with the priest is uh, uh, rather entertaining, actually. <laughs> Alright, are we we're awake? Are we in good shape here? Alright, we're, we're in good shape. We're in good shape. We're okay. <laughs> Holy god, I am totally messed up. I'm out there with the sheep. What? Did I really have that evening in the barn or was it with the sheep? <laughs> oh. Uh, it's it's a moment with me and the well, priest. I have to say that was a fine evening. <coughs> I I the cops are coming. I feel it. Godwin, you beast! Get up! Do you hear me? Wake up, you drunkards! Oh, fuck it out! Oh, oh, where the? Oh, what the? Oh, who the hell are you? <laughs> who the hell am I? <laughs> oh, Henry, my great friend Henry. Didn't we have a wonderful time? Well, you oh. certainly did, you old lecher. Now you better pull yourself together, quick. You haven't much time. There's some water and something to eat on the table there, but if I were you, I would move my hairy arse before my flock eats me alive. Oh, Christy Bonnie, my head. Oh, my guts. My poor suffering stomach. What was that woman on about? Before my flock eats me alive. I've forgotten something. Yeah, it's Sunday, right? <laughs> what have I forgotten? Where the fuck am I? What the fuck was it? <laughs> mass! Oh, shit, I have to say mass. I gotta say mass. You have to help me. <laughs> oh, you're the priest. <laughs> can't do it in this state. Maybe the liturgy. But I have to give a sermon as well. Oh, this is a disaster. They're gonna excommunicate me. I'd like to help you, but... You can. You can do the sermon for me. What? What? So, first, I investigate a murder no one wants investigated. Then I drunkenly keep the whole town up all night. And now you want me to preach at them from the pulpit? Do you want them to burn us at the stake? No. No, I've got it. Suppose it's Sir Ratzig's protege. You just came from studying in Prague. And you want to share the words of Master Jan Hus, who you recently heard preaching there. Henry, look, from what I remember, we might have overdone it a bit last night. And if the bailiff or someone else complains about me, the bishop's going to have my guts for garters. So I'd appreciate it. Stop gaping at me like a stuffed squirrel and start helping. <laughs> I like this guy. <laughs> You're start raving, Matt. I'm not. It's a perfect plan. It's flawless. <laughs> right. What could happen? Oh. How about this? If you help me with this, I'll tell you who Lubosh's cronies are. Oh. Oh, of course you will. Oh. <laughs> Should I say anything about the confessional seal isn't sacred anymore? Oh. So all at once, the confessional seal isn't so sacred? Don't mock me. I won't give you a second chance. <laughs> all right. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. All right, all right, all right. Well, all right. Well, I can't make any promises about what will happen. Right. No, neither can I. What do you want me to do, exactly? I'll go and start the liturgy. Then I'll introduce you. You give the sermon I told you yesterday in the tavern, and that's that. No need to drag it out. If it turns out well, I'll tell you what I know about Lubos. Christ almighty. Fine then. We have a deal. 
Wonderful. Let's get to it then. Dude, there wasn't any conditions. There wasn't any conditions last time. It was just go give the sermon. It wasn't give the sermon well. Oh god, I'm in my shirt. Hold on. Where's my where's my stuff? Give me give me my pants. Where's my leather jerkin? Give me some gloves or something. Uh uh yeah, some shoes. Be nice if I had some clothes on here, sir. Alright, alright. I I'm gonna get fully garbed just in case it <laughs> decided to come kick our butt. Alright, I'm ready. I'm ready. Where's my sword, by the way? Uh yeah, let's let's put my sword on. Let's put my bow on my back. Get my shield in place. I'm telling you, somebody is coming for us. Let's get some arrows in <laughs> the guard. God, I got injured from last night. I don't know if it was from the winch or if it was from the fight, but I, my health is down. My health and stamina are down. I might have contracted something last night. I don't know. Give the sermon. It's a good thing I picked up the sermon. Uh, sorry about the bell. <laughs> sorry about the bell. I thought he'd never show up. The swill pup. Look at him. He can hardly walk after his capers last night. You were with him, you beast. <laughs> Just you. <laughs> Look at him. Mother of God. Any minute now, he'll throw up. I couldn't sleep a wink last night with all that clamor. <laughs> Harry's like, yeah, well. I had a good time. It's in the spirit of Felicity Sanctum. Yeah, amen. Amen. Accepit panem in sanctas at venerabiles amanus suas. Do I have to give this in Latin? Oh, we're screwed. Hoc facite in meam commemoration. <laughs> He's gonna drink the wine. He almost drank the wine. <laughs> Hi, brothers oh, yeah. and sisters. <laughs> you may have had the honor of meeting Henry from Scalitz, who is here at the behest. Of Sir Hanush to investigate that heinous crime at Neuha. You might not know that Henry recently visited Prague, where, by the grace of God, was able to hear Master Jan Hus from the esteemed Charles University preaching. I've managed to persuade Henry to stand here today in my stead and tell us what he heard because as you all probably know Jan Hus is a very popular preacher in Prague so Henry you may begin oh dude I curious curious which one of them will puke first <laughs> tell me I don't have to interject tell me I don't have to like it's not gonna give me choices oh my god it's gonna give me choices Oh, man. Are you kidding me? Start a lengthy sermon. I I get a plus two on this. It's a 12. The other one is a nine. I, I don't know. I don't know. Let's do the lengthy sermon just because it's it's up. It's up there, right? More points. This is, oh, this is going to turn out badly. Did it save? Do we know if it saved after last night? Oh. Uh, uh, greetings, brothers and sisters in Christ. I am here to tell you about Mother Church and to show you through my words how she is falling into decay and abandon. How the once great mother of all Christians is losing her dignity and trading in souls like the merchants in the temple. Uh, but I am digressing. Boy, is a cheek. Oh, God. Uh, God stands at the head of the church. No man 
It's not man, but God. It's Creation cool. has given to every man the power by which he might rule the whole world. But that power does not give him the right to rule. That right belongs to God alone. <coughs> oh, no, they didn't like that one. Uh... It is the corruption of God's pastors here on earth that has brought misfortune on our heads. Plague, enemies, injustice, hunger and chaos, failed harvests, fires, floods and other catastrophes. The accursed wealth that the church is drowning in is poisoning almost the whole of Christendom. When dogs are fighting over a bone, take the bone and they will stop. Just like the flock of ravens that has descended on this land to peck up every speck of gold and silver. They show no mercy. Their hearts are poisoned by covetousness. They trade everything. Everything is for sale. You want to baptize a child? Pay. You want to steal and murder? Pay and you will have absolution. And the prelates sin and give themselves absolution. Well, shame. Shame upon them. Oh, God. Talk about sin and fornication. Talk about drunkenness. Uh! And what sins? They live with harlots and keep concubines, even though only marital intercourse for the purpose of procreation is pure. If someone takes a woman or man only to satisfy their own lust, who seduces them to do so but Satan? Oh, we just did that last night. I'm going to get busted for that. If that man is a servant of the church. Who can turn his face to God, who fornicates and then puts on oh. priestly robes? Nothing we don't know about already. Ouch. Ouch. Enough about sin, not which about the, the prelates are not, so not fond the best of preaching there. about, and whose absolution they promise if you pay enough coin to Mother Church. What if the devil himself were to pay? Will the bishops tell us he too would ascend to heaven? And what about those bishops? They sin without remorse, and with the money grasped from the poor for indulgences, they keep fine horses and hordes of servants to pamper them. They play dice and garb their mistresses in expensive furs, while Christ, the Lamb of God, walked barefoot and had nowhere to lay his head. Look to your consciences, you robbers of the poor, for you are seen by God and his people too. Down with the prelates! Away with them! We're fortunate to have our good father Godwin! At least he's a fair and simple man. Yes. Believe in him. Uh, criticize for the debauchery. Criticize the prelates, but stand up for Godwin. God sees what is happening on earth, and he is filled with righteous wrath that those who should seek the salvation of souls instead seek mammon and the idle comfort of lucrative posts. Blessed are the shepherds who share the poverty of their flock who are as one with you and bear with you the burden of this earthly pilgrimage, who do not condemn your venial sins. Why, all honor to Godwin. Let him drink like one of us. Yeah. That is all I heard in Prague. <laughs> Amen. Good. <laughs> Last night was a success. <laughs> uh. Anything else? The lad spoke well, considering what a soak he is. He's right, that hus. The young man shouldn't drink so much, but the Lord's given him a I'm silver glad he tongue. Came here. I don't suppose I'll ever get to Prague, and he told it nicely. <laughs> Good, that worked. <laughs> that worked. Well, well, my boy, you have talent, and I can't deny it. And you pulled a thorn from my side. I almost didn't make it. Yeah, I noticed. And I wasn't the only one. Oh, what's to be done? I'll make it up somehow. So, about our bargain. Yeah. Although it's a sin. Uh, so it's gluttony and fornication. God does forgive a penitent. So, what did Limpy Lubos tell you? Was he at Neuhof that day? Who was with him? And, and, and where are they now? Now slow down. I'm sorry, but he didn't tell me that much. Don't let me down after all I've been through. For you? Well, now Lubos came to me shortly after it happened. And his conscience was gnawing at him. And I must say, uh, in the end, he turned out to be a better man than he looked. He said they'd been hired through some crony of theirs. 
And at first they were just to steal some horses. But then it all turned sour and people started getting killed. And neither he nor his cronies wanted anything to do with that. So they fell out from the gang and fled. Fell out? Yeah, there was a body found in the woods by Neuhof. Uh, that would explain something. Uh, Lubos kept jabbering that he wasn't a murderer, that he didn't want to do it. So I know that Lubos killed the murderer and he's dead too. The trouble is, I need to find the ones who are still alive. I need names and places. Did he mention any of the others? Uh, only nicknames. Uh, talked about some fella called Riki from Ladechko. Pious, Timmy. Pious. <laughs> That lot are about as pious as I am ordained. Nonsense. You would make an excellent priest. And anyhow, with your skills, you ought to be able to sniff out this Riki from Ladechko, right? Well, we'll have to now. There's not much else to go on. Let's hope he's not hanging from the wall, too. <sighs> Indeed. And I'd hate to be excommunicated for nothing. Anyhow, good luck. You watch out for yourself. These people clearly mean business. And I'd like to raise a tankard with you again sometime. <laughs> I'll try. Sure. Although I'm not sure I'd survive another night of your debauchery. <laughs> if anyone should ask, you heard nothing from me. I'll deny everything. I don't doubt it. <laughs> Alright, we go drinking again. Padre, I have no problem drinking with you. Had a good old time. <laughs>